Lila's Christmas Miracle Lila had a deep passion for roller skating. Every day, she would proudly put on her sparkling red skates and zoom through the streets, relishing the sensation of the wind against her hair and the pure exhilaration in her heart. She was undeterred by winter's chill and the snow, as long as her skates were by her side. However, a devastating incident occurred a week before Christmas when Lila's beloved skate suddenly broke down. The wheels detached, the laces snapped, and the leather suffered irreparable damage. Lila was overcome with despair. She lacked the financial means to purchase a new pair of skates, and she knew her parents were in a similar predicament. It felt as though she had lost her dearest companion. In an attempt to uplift her spirits, she decided to admire the festive Christmas decorations displayed in the shop windows. However, rather than bringing her joy, they served as a painful reminder of what she lacked in life. As she witnessed other children gleefully roller skating on the roller rink, she couldn't help but feel even more despondent. Although she longed to join them, she was aware that it was an impossible dream. As she made her way home, a profound sense of loneliness and misery enveloped her. Oblivious to her surroundings, she failed to notice an elderly woman sitting on a bench nearby. The woman, wrapped in a warm shawl and clutching a basket brimming with apples, greeted Lila with a warm smile. Hello, my dear. Would you like an apple? They are incredibly sweet and juicy, she kindly offered. Lila glanced at the woman, taking in her compassionate eyes and soothing voice. A wave of empathy washed over her, realizing that the woman might be in a more vulnerable situation than she was. Graciously, she declined the offer, saying, No, thank you, ma'am. I'm not hungry. However, please keep them for yourself. The weather is bitterly cold, and it's important for you to stay warm. The woman nodded in agreement and graciously remarked, you're truly kind, dear. However, I have an abundance of apples, and I find joy in sharing them with those who could use a bit of happiness. Please take one. It's a gift from me to you. Lila hesitated momentarily, but ultimately decided to accept the woman's offer. She reached for the basket and carefully selected an apple. Its vibrant red color reminded her of the shine her roller skates used to possess. Lila expressed her gratitude to the woman and took a bite of the apple. Its tender sweetness and refreshing juice unexpectedly lifted her spirits. The woman's smile broadened as she added, You're most welcome, dear, and Merry Christmas. Returning the gesture, Lila smiled back and replied, Merry Christmas to you as well, ma'am. As Lila was preparing to leave, the woman stopped her with a request, saying, Wait, my dear, I have something else for you. A special gift, just for you. Curiosity peaked. Lila looked at the woman and asked, What is it, ma'am? The woman reached into her shawl, retrieving a pair of roller skates. These skates were vibrant red and shiny, similar to Lila's old ones, but even better. They boasted new wheels, freshly tied laces, and pristine leather. They appeared brand new, captivating Lila's gaze as they glistened under the sun. Overwhelmed with excitement, Lila gasped and exclaimed, Oh ma'am, they're beautiful, but how did you manage to get them? And why are you giving them to me? With a mischievous wink, the woman responded, Let's just say I have a friend who works at the toy store. I'm giving them to you because you deserve them. You, Lila, are a good girl, kind, generous, and brave. Your passion for roller skating is unmatched, and you shouldn't let it fade away. This gift is meant for you, to continue bringing you joy and happiness. Lila couldn't believe what she was hearing. Her eyes welled up with tears of gratitude and happiness. She exclaimed, Oh, ma'am, thank you so much. You're an angel. You've made my Christmas wish come true. The woman embraced Lila and responded, You're most welcome, my dear, and you're right. I am an angel, a Christmas angel sent by God to make miracles happen, and you, Lila, are my miracle. Now go, put on your skates and enjoy yourself. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. With her skates on, Lila hugged the woman once more and said, Thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless you, ma'am, and Merry Christmas. She glided away, feeling the wind in her hair and the joy in her heart. The freezing temperatures and the snow no longer mattered, as long as she had her skates and her angel. The woman watched her skate off, a smile on her face as she waved goodbye. She whispered, Merry Christmas, Lila, and Merry Christmas to everyone. Picking up her basket of apples, she walked away, humming a cheerful tune. She had more miracles to create and more people to bless. Being a Christmas angel was her purpose and she absolutely loved it. Thanks for watching. Check out these other fine videos.